Hi, Booktube. It's Gina. How are you? I thought today I would share with you my little cozy reading nook. Oh, wait a minute. I had to flip you around to show you the cat, which is a very, very strong component of, of the reading nook. Isn't she cute? That was Josie. And when I'm reading, I'm laying on my side. She's usually sitting right on my hip. She loves to sit on me while I read. So anyway, um, I've been seeing people doing the, what are we calling it? The YouTube book nook book. You to, I don't remember what the hashtag is. I'll look it up and I'll, I'll put it down below. Um, but people have been sharing their, their little reading spaces where they sit to read, where they um, do most of their reading. And I just wanted to jump in and share with you where I spend the majority of my time reading. So let's get started. There's usually some cats here. Here and there's almost always some cuddles going on, but this is the spot where I do most of my reading. Now, normally, this pillow is not here, this pillow is not here, and I lay on that pillow on my side with my the hands propped up right here with my Kindle. And that is where I spend the majority of my time when I'm reading. The, let me, I'm going to switch you around before I move on to my nightstand and show you my view. So this is the view from that spot and I absolutely love it. We've got this big tall window here. I feel like I'm living in a tree house. We have a beautiful little deck out here with a little table and chairs. There's oftentimes cats playing on the scratching posts. And then one of my favorite pictures, sort of hard to see from here. I'll see if I can get a better view of this, but I bought this picture when I was probably mm, 22 or 23 years old. I love these black and white eighties prints. And this one I bought back in the day when Pottery Barn was still a very novel and new store. There was one in LA. They didn't have a catalog yet. And um, I went with a friend and we were shopping at Pottery Bar and I was flipping through their sale prints. And I bought this for, I think it was around $2. It was a very good deal. And I've had it ever since then. Okay, so I'm going to flip you back around and show you my nightstand. This is, this is a, such a cozy spot. So I just, I like to keep it fairly simple. I've always got a pile of books. Here's the pile that I'm working on. And I keep a water glass with a lid on it because if I don't have a lid on it, the cats think it's theirs. And then my coaster here is from Uva Bar, which is our favorite bar at Disneyland, which sadly has gone out of business. So I stole a couple of coasters. They didn't care. They were going out of business like the like three days after we were there it was their last day. So she was like, take what you want. Um, so we grabbed some coasters just to remember them by because we love them and we're sorry to see them go. Um, I also have a little book light. The charger is inside the nightstand and then I just clip it onto my lamp so that it's handy. Sometimes at night I just turn it on the lowest notch just to be a little night light when I'm reading in bed if I want a little extra light but I don't want my big light on and then let's see these are the books I'm working on right now uh cozy mystery the crime that binds 
Um, I haven't I haven't started this one yet. Tea is so intoxicating by Mary Essex, but I'm I wanted to. Um, I always have a little pencil and a pad of paper, something by the bed. And then this is Sally Brady's Italian Adventure by Christina Lynch that I'm working on. This was a present from Steve Donahue. And oh, the, the bookmark is my Garbagas bookmark from Criminali last year. I uh, love, he's got the greatest bookmarks. Um, so that is what is usually on top of my nightstand. And then we'll switch to go down inside. This is an, an old, I don't know, it's an antique, but it's an old, it's just an old little cupboard. And Greg had this when I met him. He had drilled some holes in the back of it for, he used to have his answering machine in here, which I think is very cute. And now I use it for um, my chargers. So I've got my Kindle in here charging right now, my Kindle Oasis. And then let's see, I have a spare set of reading glasses because I cannot see without reading glasses. I got my phone charger here. So at night when I'm done, um, I try to always have at least two hours of no screen time before I try to go to sleep. So I pop my phone in here so that I can close the door and not pay any attention to it. And then that little green bin in the back, I've got some sleep stuff. I have terrible insomnia right now. So I've got um, a couple of prescriptions. I try not to take them very often, but I have them there just in case. And then I have the super duper cute little California Adventure. It's like a little espresso cup. I actually think they were Christmas ornaments originally, but I always have earplugs and a Carmex or some kind of lip balm in there. Um, Cause I also have very chapped lips and Greg is a snorer and I'm a very light sleeper. So I, have, I sleep with earplugs. And then the next shelf, I just have some, let's see. I put lotion on my feet at night, have a little uh, Amazing Grace essential lotion. I have a book that needs to go back to the owner. It was a borrow. I've got my ear, um, ear, they're not ear pods, but they're just a little generic um, earbuds that I love. And then over here, you can't really see it is a, um, an iPad that I got from my sister that I realize I just rarely ever use. Um, no, Steve Donahue, you can't have it. <laughs> I know you love your tech. Um, I, it loses its charge very quickly. Like it will only stay charged for, if I, if I don't charge it, if I don't charge it every single day, it will be dead by the next day. So it just hasn't been very convenient to use. I don't know if I need to change settings or something, but, um, but I just don't, yeah, I don't use it. And I've got a pretty good system with my Kindle and my phone. Um, so one of these days I might start using my iPad a little bit more. Uh, so, oops, I dropped a pair of uh, glasses there on the floor back there. So that is my little sleeping nook. It's one of them. I have a couple more little reading spots that I will, maybe I'll share with you later on. One of them is outside on my deck, which I've shared pictures of before, but I don't think I've showed you since the weather has gotten so pretty out here, but it's raining today. So when, when the sun comes back out, I will share my little outside reading nook. And then I do have a spot in the living room where I read, um, when I'm reading during the day, I have a chair in my living room and I will, I'll, I'll show you that at some point too. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my little cozy corner where I spend most of my reading time and I'll talk to you later. Bye.